Hello everybody, and welcome to another Keen Gamer Review. Today, we're looking at the Li Pao Z1 Gamut Portable Monitor. So let's get started. Content creators and gamers know the struggle caused by working or gaming on the go. Productivity is reduced by limiting yourself to one screen. If you are used to multiple monitors, but have to use your laptop while traveling, readjusting to only one screen can be frustrating. Fortunately, LiPao has introduced an answer to those problems with the Z1 Gamut Portable Monitor. It is an elegant, smart solution to keep workflow and gameplay at their maximum efficiency. Inside the tidy packaging is the panel itself, a screen protector, a magnetic carrying case that serves as the stand when in use, a USB-C cable, and a USB-C to USB-A cable, an HDMI to mini HDMI cable, a 10 watt power adapter, and various instruction and warranty manuals. All of this comes at the price of $199. First impressions are good ones. The screen, while not incredibly slim, has smooth beveled edges and thin chrome lines that give it an upscale classy look. The metal unibody construction has weight to it and a brushed finish for a premium feel. The I.O. is minimalistic with only a button and selector switch on one side and the input ports on the other. The carrying case is professional and sleek with two indents for placing the screen at different angles. There are magnets in the ends which allow the case to snap to the edges as they should for travel. Overall, the presentation of the Li Pao Z1 is elegant. It feels as if it wants to be placed into a messenger bag and carried to work or school. While the idea of packing in an entire second monitor might seem ungainly in theory, the Z1 makes the practice of it quite effortless. The Li Pao Z1 has two methods of input. One is a USB-C DisplayPort input, the other is a mini HDMI. On the same side as the video outputs is the headphone jack. On the other side lies the power input, the power button, and menu button which also serves as the volume rocker. Fortunately, you don't have to worry about having either of the compatible cables on hand as both the USB-C cable and mini HDMI come in the box. There's no drivers or setup to worry about, the Z1 functions just as any other monitor would. Plug it in using your preference of cables and your computer takes care of the rest. The panel itself boasts some impressive specifications. Li Pao claims their 1080p quantum dot technology boosts colors by 60% over other monitors. It has an IPS panel which means the viewing angles are greater at 178 degrees. The brightness is advertised at 320 nits if using the included 10 watt power adapter or a 10 watt USB port. That's about 6% higher than a standard laptop screen. It also has better than average sRGB coverage and can display 16.7 million colors. This is not a bare bones 6 bit low light display packaged in a nice aluminum body. The Li Pao has the numbers to back its style. Whenever you use two monitors, especially ones of two different brands, there will be a difference in color and brightness. However, for some reason, I couldn't get the Li Pao to match my laptop screen. It didn't matter what calibration program I used or how much I played with the contrast, saturation, gamma, or RGB levels, the screens were simply too different to match appropriately, which was kind of a bummer. I finally had to settle with it simply not being able to be consistent with my laptop screen colors. It seems to have a cooler tint to it and yet blasts reds and greens while leaving grays, yellows, and oranges behind. Hours pouring into different ICC profiles and recalibrations yielded slightly better results, but nothing groundbreaking. Some people will be more sensitive to screen color, especially content creators, but realistically no two screens will ever match perfectly, even those of the same brand. However, it was odd to have to get used to such a drastic inconsistency between my laptop screen and the Li Pao Z1. The colors, apart from being uncalibrated, are vibrant and bright. In gaming and video scenarios, the colors really do pop to life, and there was no screen tearing or artifacting by fault of the monitor. There were also no dead or stuck pixels, and backlight bleed is kept to a minimum. I've seen much worse on pricier monitors. Dead pixels and bad backlighting are incredibly distracting, and it was really nice that the Li Pao came distraction free. Interestingly, when looking at the display properties for the Z1, the monitor code comes up as the AOUA0ED. Painlook lists this monitor number capable of 10 bit color, 500 nits, and 144 Hz refresh rate. None of these traits are advertised as being capable by this monitor from Li Pao. It makes one wonder if the panel used by Li Pao really is capable of 500 nits brightness and 144 Hz, why is Li Pao limiting it to only 320 nits and 60 Hz? 
I really can't say for sure if this is indeed the same monitor as listed by Painlook. However, if it's true, then Leapow has downgraded what the hardware is actually capable of. The included speakers aren't great, but the fact that they managed to put them in at all is considerate. For the times when all you need is to hear what's happening on screen for a conference call or work meeting, they will do just fine. The Z1 also has a decent amount of options inside the on-screen display menu built into the monitor. One can adjust sharpness, contrast, blue light levels, and display profiles all with the single and surprisingly intuitive menu switch. The convenience of being able to use two monitors on the go is great. Music or movies can be played while doing homework, digital books and media can be on one screen while a research paper is on the other, In media workflows, files and browsers can be separated from media timelines or 3D modeling software. Those who already have two monitors for their desktop systems can feel a bit thrown off when limited to one screen. The Leapow Z1 allows you to continue your efficient workflow at a coffee shop, the library, or wherever else you take your laptop. In gaming, completionists out there will appreciate the second screen for walkthroughs and tutorials on how to get that final trophy. Discord could occupy one screen so you could keep an eye on your chat and game at the same time. And streamers could always use a second screen for monitoring follows, comments, and their streaming stats. Investing in a second screen is really an upgrade that anyone could use. Leapal makes that investment an easy decision with their Z1 gamut. The out-of-the-box readiness and ease of use makes this accessory something that you will get used to having on hand. The vibrant colors could use some fine-tuning and it could get a little brighter, but it still looks great watching movies or playing games. If you feel like your mobile work or gaming laptop could use an upgrade in efficiency, the Leapal Z1 will satisfy that need.